Congratulations on selecting the APM HDC 5200, the premier fiber optic polishing machine. This video will take you step by step through the process of unpacking, setup, maintenance, and programming of your machine. Step 1. Unpacking your polishing machine from its shipping case. First, open the packing list from the top of the machine and remove the yellow envelope containing the key. This key will open both locks on the front of the shipping case. Flip the fasteners on the sides of the shipping case down. Important! Before opening the lid of the shipping case, check the front to ensure the polishing machine has not been mishandled during shipping. If it has been tipped over, the top will be blue. Once you have determined the machine is okay, open the case and begin taking inventory of the accessories. This package contains a number of items, including your user manual. Setup instructions are on page two. It also contains your compact flash memory card, stylus, an extra key, a wrench that will remove the locking screws from the platen, and your certificate of accuracy. Remove and unwrap the blue Kobe air filter from the shipping case. Next, remove the cable management system for the polisher and set aside. This package contains a pry tool to remove the rubber pads or a glass plate from the platen. A sampling of rubber pads. Tri-flow for lubricating the lock pins. And a power cord. Also included in your shipping case is platen grease for routine maintenance. An airline and drain hose. Machine cover. Drip tray and drip tray bracket. and a Domail engineering brochure. Once you have taken inventory of the accessories, it is time to remove your machine from the shipping case. First, use the scissors to cut away the plastic covering the handle. This allows a firm grasp on the machine when lifting. To remove the machine, one person will hold the case firmly on the outside edges, while the other person lifts the machine out of the shipping case placing the machine on a suitable, stable work surface. Remove the remaining plastic from the machine. Remove the protective foam and bubble wrap from the touchscreen panel on the front of the machine. Pull the locking pins and carefully lift the overarm and remove the foam underneath. Inspect the machine thoroughly for any damage that may have occurred in shipping. Once you have completed your inspection, you are now ready for step two. Setting up your polishing machine. First, hook up your air supply. Your polishing machine requires 80 to 120 PSI of clean, dry air, or 5.5 to 8.5 bars. The Kobe air filter is set up on one end to hook directly to the polishing machine with the supplied quarter inch air tubing. Connect one end of the airline to black capped end of Kobe air filter. Connect other end of airline firmly into fitting on back of machine. Finally, attach the other end into your compressed air system. Next, plug the electric cord into the back of your machine and then into your power supply. On this particular cord, you have to push the reset button to start the electrical current. The third step is to attach the cable management bracket on the back of the polisher. Remove the two thumb screws on the back of the machine and slide the cable management bracket over the drain hose supply and into the slots provided. Reattach the screws to secure. Attach the drain hose to the drain fitting on the back of the machine. Let the drain hose drape down into a bucket on the floor. Finally, install the drip tray. 
The drip tray bracket can be attached on either the left or right side of the machine. Slide the bracket straight onto the side of the machine and firmly tighten the bracket screw. Slide the drip tray rod into the bracket hole. You have now completed the assembly of your optical fiber polishing machine. Proper care, usage, and maintenance are critical to your polishing machine's longevity and polishing accuracy. Always disconnect the polishing machine from the power source before doing any maintenance work. To move the overarm up and down, push the button on the front. This releases the lock pins allowing you to raise or lower the overarm. Clean top of platen, overarm top plate, overarm rest pad, and bottom of overarm. Remember, the accuracy of your machine is dependent on keeping these areas clean. When you clean the bottom of your fixture, always have the drip tray in place. Do not use the air hose near the platen. This forces water and contaminates into the wear surfaces and mechanical drive unit and could cause machine failure not covered under warranty. If the fixture screw becomes damaged, you must replace it. The fixture will not rest properly on the film with a damaged screw. Do not remove sealed screws or open the cabinet as this will void your warranty. The platen should be greased at least once a month or more often if heavily used. Remove the platen by pulling straight up. Clean the platen and wipe off any grit. Fill holes and wear ring with grease. Apply a drop of light oil on each O-ring. Line up the eccentric arms to point in the same direction and move to eye level to reinstall the platen. Using like machine oil, lubricate lock pins on both sides of the overarm. Remove the fan filter on the back of the machine and use compressed air to clean out debris. Clean the drain hose fitting from clogging by inserting a clean cotton swab. Through time, metal on metal will cause general wear and tear. The Easy Kit can assist in checking your machine's surfaces, identifying what parts or maintenance is needed. When you start the machine, the plate will move, so keep your hands, hair, loose clothing and jewelry away while the plate is rotating. The maintenance screen allows you to define six specific maintenance parameters, including platen grease, the fan filter, lubricating lock pins, replacing the Kobe air filter, rubber pads, and annual maintenance. When a maintenance interval is reached, an alarm will be triggered on the production screen. Maintenance OK box will turn from blue to red. Click Red Reset after maintenance has been completed. This will reset the maintenance schedule. You can also change the maintenance intervals from the screen. For a complete list of machine and polishing fixture maintenance, refer to your user's manual. You are now ready to turn the machine on and proceed with your programming. The white power button is in the back of the machine. Turn it on. While the machine is powering up, lift the screen cover. Important, the screen cover should be down when the machine is in operation. This prevents damaging particles from scratching the screen surface. If the red emergency screen is displayed, reset by turning the emergency stop button clockwise. Push the machine start button to continue the home page. From the home page, go to the system configuration screen. Click on user rights and settings. On the user rights and settings screen, enable the film counter for your process. Important, if you prefer to use pounds instead of kilograms, check the display kilograms option here. Also on this screen is the password protect option. Here you can lock the operator out of the process configuration so the process cannot be altered. This will allow the operator access only to the home and production screens. Next, click on the process variable settings. Select the System Configuration tab. 
Then, process variable settings in the configuration box using the down arrow. Select Film in the Select Setting box. Touch the New button to access the keypad and type in a film name for your polishing process. The film name can be up to 32 characters in length. Select OK. Repeat these steps for all films used in your polishing processes. To delete a film name, highlight the name, then touch the Delete button. Other process variables can be created using this same method. Now, go to the Process Configuration screen. This is where you will build your process. A new process can be set up in two ways. One, select the New button to define a process from scratch. Or two, begin with a copy of an existing process from the machine's memory. Instructions on how to define the steps within a process can be found here, in the user's manual. Domeo Engineering has a reputation for the accuracy of our products and services. We pride ourselves on excellent customer support and satisfaction. Please contact Domeo Engineering for all your service, support, or general questions.